So let's say that our student has decided that they like this particular thickness best, and the first task is to draw a circle. Now I will tell you, this, this particular Fiskars compass has an advantage that it doesn't have a stabby end, but I'm not sure, in fact, the way I'm sitting, if I'm going to be able to do this a good job of this. But you have to be pretty careful with this so that you're, and, and this, I like the stiffness here. Uh, and, and basically hold it to the top. Do not squeeze this way. If you squeeze the two legs together, you're going to get something that's not a circle. So let me see how good I am at this. If I can do this. Okay, there's our first circle. But, and I should have kept my point. Let me see if I can find it, if it's stabbed it enough should have behaved myself. You're going to make the radius a little bit smaller. So now we're going to go ahead and draw another circle. I'm kind of just trying to steady myself here. And then if we can, we're going to draw just a, make our radius just a little smaller and draw a little tiny, whoops, see I moved. It's harder to get that tiny circle if I can stay put. And some of my students, after I've had them do something else, they will do this on their own and they get so excited they don't even know what they've just drawn. What they've just done are concentric circles. So again, here's the point of this lesson. Find a compass that your student, and this is for low vision, likes, that matches the pin and has the ability to open up and, and insert that pin. The type of uh, compasses that we had, at least when I was a kid, were those metal ones that were flimsy and horrible and all you could put in was the, the, the little skinny pencil. This is what you need for your low vision student in the modern age. Again, this particular one is Fiskars, F-I-S-K-A-R-S, and you can buy them just anywhere. You can buy them at the drugstore, or you can get them online, or wherever you can find one. And uh, I think they run about $4, but I usually get them on sale, like right after all the school supplies have been sold. You know, they've tried to get rid of all the school supplies after the beginning of school has started, and I've gotten them for as, as uh, inexpensively as $0.99 cents a piece. So just to let you know you're not having to spend an exorbitant price for something that will work very nicely for your student and be safe for you to transport it on the plane and go to school with. Okay, and again, we just did concentric circles.